Legend has it, Sinclair was about to take a run, and they are like, yeah, Sinclair, and I was like, fuck this fucking asshole. So I snaked him and was skating around, and I thought to myself, like, as I did a couple tricks that I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna, like, make, and I was like, oh, I'm kind of killing it right now, yeah. And then, like, my run is done, and I go to just, like, fling, like, a, like a lip trick or whatever as you're, like, over skating, doing your run. I fling a disaster on it, and then try to come in and then I just like slip off and I feel a pop and it was like not a painful pop it was more like the pop the sensation you get when like your arm is locked or, or your knee is locked and then I went to like grab my foot and it was was not there and I fell on the ground and I just repeated to myself like I'm fucked I'm fucked and then Daniel Lutheran slid into the ramp and he's like dude you're not fucked you're not fucked and I look at my foot and I saw it was over there and I was like yeah I'm, I'm pretty fucked right now and I just started laughing because he was like saying I wasn't fucked when clearly my ankle was not in the right spot. <laughs> yeah, I left like 6.30 just to try to beat traffic and I like was even in more traffic. Yeah, it's like they're kind of busy around Monday, but like do people stop going to work as the week progresses? Uh, I don't understand it. It's, uh, it's, thank goodness, not as serious as potentially fracturing his tibia. If he fractured his tibia, that would have been a lot worse. He fractured the outside bone right here called the fibula. They put a screw in, or put, they put a couple screws in, in a Wait, plate. Wait, I fractured the fibula? The fibula. I'm not getting it wrong the whole time. Hey, no problem. But yeah, you fractured the fibula. Oh, okay. And so fibula. that's the fibula, and that's the smaller bone that's on the outside. So they put in a plate, a couple screws, and people can skate within a relatively quick period of time after this type of an injury. I can feel it all. I don't feel the laser, though. That, I just hope that works, but it looks cool. But the, the like, this stuff I can feel, like, get being pulled, like pumped into my... Feet. You won't feel the laser because it's a cold laser. And cold lasers don't emit heat. So majority of the lasers out there now, they utilize heat, unfortunately, and that causes, it's not that it's a bad thing or a good thing, but too much heat in anything can cause damage or cause problems. Overcook it. Exactly, so there's a reason why you have to wear glasses with that type of laser. With cold laser, we utilize zirconia. It's, it's the first FDA approved medical device uh, to treat pain for laser. But it also enhances bone healing super fast. It also increases metabolism to the area throughout the cells, that's what we're after. Uh, you know, I, I've got patients from the surf world, from motocross, supercross, you name it. And it seems like the athlete mind seems to heal much faster than the average, average individual. I would think because there's like a inherent drive to like just want to get out there and start like ripping again. Yeah, first everything, first surgery, broken bone, and first time being out for this long. So it's that's it's pretty it's, pretty, it's, it's a bummer. <laughs> He has, right here, he's got a plate and he's got screws in there. There's very little tissue in between that hardware and, his, and the outside of the skin. So by me pushing and pushing on here, it's only gonna cause inflammation, cause pain, things that he's not gonna like. So instead what we do is we utilize what's called a cup. This cup here will pull the skin away from the adhesion, from the scar. So we're gonna help the scar tissue heal more effectively. We call what's called scar tissue resolution. Very, very important part to the healing process. If you don't completely heal the scar, you're gonna have long-term problems. I mean, I've, I've had like the, the, the run of the mill, like ankle rolls, been out for like a month, wrist fucked up, like hit my head, but I've never broken anything or never had needed to get surgery or anything like that. I think it being my first and like major one, like being older and thinking I have like, I mean, I have other interests, but like kind of thinking like, oh, I can like, get by on just like doing whatever and writing music. It's like, it kind of brings me back to like, I'm not any different than I was when I was fucking 16. It's like, people are like, you, oh, you can play guitar and write songs or whatever, and that's fun. But after a while, it's like, I think to myself, like, like I've written like five songs, like in a, three days, but this is not nearly as fun as like skating. It's like, it's not nearly as cool or fun, you know? Cause you can, it's like skating makes you happy. If you're sad and you write a sad song, it's not gonna make you happy. Like even, like I even miss like having like those shitty days. Like, like uh, the, the Dakota's like, dude, my body feels like shit right now. It's sucked today. And I'm like, God, what I wouldn't give for my body to like suck right now. <laughs> no, 
Now that's, we're getting the range right here. Push, 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 push. We got one more, last one. Three, two, one, and push, 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 push. Good. Excellent, come on up. All right. Get you all some ice. So what, what time tonight should we? Um, we're go probably going to go on the ground at 11.30 or so. So What time are you going to show up? I'll show up at 8, because I have to be there for all the bros, you know? Of course. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I would say, like, unless you want to see, like, a kick-ass punk band open up at 9.30. Yeah. Are you TJ? Fucking nothing, bro. Just ripping? And being sick? Yeah. And Jake clowning him in the face? Yeah. Sick. That is pretty sick. I'm gonna try and escape with my brothers. What's up with this? Is this you, Leah? Yeah. Just came up, dude. Medium format, so. Just seems sick. Uh, I've been in Long Beach for about maybe. Maybe a little over 10 years in Long Beach. I had an apartment while I looked for, like for a year while I looked for a house. And then I found this house and I've been here for nine years. I kind of moved here because I didn't like Los Angeles and I didn't like Orange County. I didn't really know anyone out here and I kind of liked that, like the fact that I didn't really know anyone. I wasn't trying to live like by the water. I wanted to live like a little bit away from that, you know? I'd rather live in like a neighborhood where I can have parking and not have to worry about all that, you know? But yeah, I don't know, this is like all my records. This is all. Bob Dylan up here. Then the rest is just <clears throat> an array of rock pop as they like to put it in record stores. And the bottom is like country, folk, and bluegrass and gospel. Over here is the uh, growing friendship wall of art and photography. It's pretty, some pretty good stuff so far, but uh, there, needs, there, there needs some growth to be had over here in this wall. Usually what happens here is like I clean the house and then there's like the miscellaneous and I just set them aside in here. And then sometimes when I come home from a trip, I just like set stuff aside in here, just get out of the way of the kitchen. And as you can see, it takes me a really long time to get to most of this stuff. There's a skateboard mag here. Batman graphic novel. This one's pretty sick if you haven't read this and you like Batman graphic novels. Read this one, The City of Owls. It's fucking tight. I got this from Tampa for showing up one year at Tampa Am, which is pretty crazy because they just gave it to me for showing up. It's pretty cool. And then just on this side, guitars from playing shows and switching up my setup, and then I just like slide them in right here, and then I think you'll like this one. This one's usually a one that people usually are like, what the fuck is that thing? It's a 12 string, oh shit, Dobro, which is pretty cool. I fucked up a little bit, but let me edit that out and just make it sound like I nailed it. Pretty cool though.
Cause it's not a conscious decision to try to collect guitars. I kind of get them like impulsively. Like if I really enjoy it and the price is right, and it's just like kind of like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. So that's kind of how that happens. As a skater, you kind of want to be impulsive to try stuff and be like, yeah, you want to go on this trip? And you're like, yeah, fuck it, let's go, you know? It kind of definitely helps to be an impulsive person. I don't know, I've never been one to like really think about stuff like in like the long term, I guess. Like the only time I've ever had time to think is like right now with this injury because I've always been like constantly doing something. So this is the only time where I've had to like, unfortunately had time to think about like my life and what I'm doing and where I'm at and it sucks. Like I, I, it's definitely not for me. I'm not an overthinker usually. The, the thing I'm like concerned about is like the, the, the deadline is November for like footage. Like that's the one thing is like I'm like my months are becoming less and less. I, I'm coming back pretty quick and even people are like, whoa, like you're already skating. It's been like three months since like your surgery or whatever. So I'm definitely stoked on that. The only problem is like, I'm just gonna come off like a fucking bitch if I don't pull through, you know? And that's reflects on me. It's not, doesn't reflect on the project. Cause I wanna like have a, the best part as I possibly can. But the only thing would be is like when I'm ready to like fully start skating again, you know?